He was going to preschool when he got meningitis, and they told us at the time that he would have a possible hearing loss from side effects of meningitis. After his return from the hospital, he kind of withdrew from everybody. His voice didn't change. For about three months, he sounded very good, just like he did before. And then about after that third month, we just noticed the elongation of the words. Okay. Over here, Kate. In the meantime, we had found out about Oralingua in Whittier, and that was a private program um, that was oral. Okay, go. His teachers would try ringing a bell behind his head. Did you hear it? He was wearing hearing aids at the time, and he heard nothing at all. Stop. Did you hear anything? And we had find, found out through our audiologist about a cochlear implant, and so we made an appointment with House Ear. Casey was the first child to have the 22-channel implant in North America. I remember when I first got my implant that I didn't really like it that much, and it took a lot of practice to get used to it. a lot of speech therapy I had to go through. I just remember that it was very hard, and I had to work very hard to be able to hear again. You may not have heard before. Listen, okay? Oysters. Oysters. Pass on and that's off. And then this little microphone right here, right there. And when you talk, your voice, the sound goes in the microphone. And the box would, or the processor would translate it down to this wire into this magnet, which is connected to another magnet inside my head. So that's how my device works. From the first day that Casey was stimulated, we knew we'd made the right decision. I like right, to bye -bye. spend a lot of time with my friends and socialize. My friends are, they're all hearing kids. <laughs> we can communicate just fine. We talk on the phone all the time. Woo! You doubted me. <laughs> Casey's my best friend. I don't even notice him being deaf. I don't see him as a deaf person at all. I am in college and I enjoy it a lot. I either want to be a teacher for the deaf or maybe pursue a career in being an architect. It's been a long haul with Casey. These past 16 years have not been easy. He really wanted to hear and he wanted to speak well. And he's accomplished that. He's a wonderful young man and he's happy and that's what makes us happy. I'm very grateful that my parents chose me to get the cochlear implant. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome, Casey. I would do anything for you. I know you would. I love them with all my heart for them to be able to give, make that decision for me. And I also want to thank the House Institute for giving me the opportunity. <laughs>